Caddis Maximus here. I'm almost done with my Charger reviews. This is actually, uh, I believe, the second to the last one. This is the Digital Concepts CH5920R. This is a 30-minute charger. This is actually one of the most powerful uh, AAA and AA nickel metal hydride and NICAD compatible chargers I've ever seen. It's actually fan cool. And as far as ones that I've seen, I've actually seen quite a few of these. Uh, use and I have a, these are the only ones I've actually found a couple of where it's obvious they were they had burned up or the batteries and melted down. These were sold at Walmart like 10 years ago. They're actually there for quite a few years and then I think uh, just relatively recently in the last two or three years they stopped selling them. But they're always pretty cheap and there's just tons of them online and that's kind of what attracted me. They have a little switch although they didn't label it. On the charger, it switches between NICAD and nickel metal hydride mode, and all that does is just limit the charge current. So the big deal about this charger and why it is fan-cooled is just the super high output, as I put in the thumbnail. When you're charging one to two double A's in this 30-minute section here, it'll dump 2.8 amps, or 2,800 milliamps, into those two batteries, which is a huge amount. Even you know with a decent nickel metal hydride battery like this two amp that's it's 30 to 40 minutes But man the batteries do get pretty hot when you're dumping that much power into them Even when you have four batteries, it's gonna dump 1800 milliamps or 1.8 amps per battery Really is a pretty stout charger in the world of chargers and so I just wanted to do a little review saying these are generally pretty neat. You'll want to make sure that you are not topping off a battery. That's like the most likely for a fire to happen is because it can't sense when a battery is being topped off or is already charged and thrown back in the charger. It's when it's most likely to be able to, unable to detect uh, what is known as a negative delta and therefore overcharges the battery. When these types of batteries charge up, what happens is that you know, it dumps energy into them and the charge comes up and up and up and resistance increases and current drops off just like a, you know, a lead acid battery. But the thing about nickel metal hydride and NICAD and those, you know, even lithium ion is right when they get up to around 80%, all of a sudden the resistance will reverse and go back down the other way. And it'll kind of seem like the battery is discharging and the charger will continue to dump more and more power into it. So it needs to be able to detect that transition where the resistance keeps on going up and then switches over and starts going down again. That's what's called the delta current or delta voltage charge method. And when you have a full battery, it may not exhibit a very sharp curve or may not even do that at all. And so the charger has a hard time detecting it. This is an independent cell charger, 12 volts. So you can run it both off a car or just with a standard power adapter. And the fan is not very strong at all. Um, it's probably one thing you could do and right at the end of this review I'm gonna take this apart. It is once once again independent cell so it can charge one through four batteries any number of batteries it's just the first two cells are the high power ones. But in this case it just has a green light so when you pop in the batteries and it takes it a second to pick them up. When you pop in the batteries the lights just go green and then they just simply will flash if there's a bad battery like there's the green lights or they'll just turn off when it's uh, reached full charge. Anyway, I was going to open this one up because it's really easy to get inside and I just kind of wanted to have all these charging videos show you how complicated the electronics are inside one of these independent bay chargers. Let me go and knock this apart. It'll only take a second. Here we go, we got it split it all open. This is just for anybody who's really curious. I should do more of this inside, what's inside type stuff. But We have a little power supply up there, all the little uh, connectors. What's interesting is the connectors have these little circuits in them, uh, which I thought was kind of odd on the AA. The AAA connectors are actually on a separate post, and they're at physically connected to a separate circuit, so it knows when it's powering AAAs and drives less current, 900 milliamps. But there's our fan and then our little ribbon cable to our little LED display board. And then on the bottom of this, you can see that there's just all these chips. There's the actual processor that monitors everything and then all these other chips I don't know what they do uh, but I always thought that was kind of interesting does it even a simple little double a battery charger uh, nowadays you know these electronic independent channel ones are really have a lot of complicated electronics inside them so just wanted to point that out also how I knew that was NICAD nickel metal hydride is on the board they actually have printed NICAD 
and NIMH, but they didn't do that on the case, and I thought that was really strange. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching my cringy reviews, especially my not so popular battery charger ones. But I kind of put these up for any, you know, for just a few people who may find an interest or is run into one of these and just searches around on their phone, does a Google search. They'll get a hit to the video and at least be able to get a little bit more information about these things. And I can't do tool reviews all the time, so I try to intermix it with other reviews. Once again, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.